A UK's Boris Johnson warns of an Omicron tidal wave. I wanted to show you this. Says two doses not two enough. Two doses not enough. That's so fishy, dude. Chief, when they go, no, you need three now. How do you know so quick? No, you need three. Omicron, you need three now. It's only been, I, it's only been two years. <laughs> only been two years. <laughs> but isn't it a little? Doesn't that sound fishy? This is no, why I have. You're such loving kindness shit, bro. Just no, but say it. Just say it. This is why I have loving kindness for the hesitants oh because I get gosh. why you're thinking. No, they were a little too quick on the uh, uh, Omicron. Uh, 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 I don't know what it is, but you need three uh, boosters now. You need a booster now. It's no, like, they're just hey, trying to give just, it a second. Just, they're, they're just, oh, oh yeah, just give it a second and let it overrun you. I guess so. You're saying that they had to do that because they got to get that booster boot boost boost out. You got to get it out. No, for Christmas, you got to get it out for Christmas so Christmas doesn't get it screw everyone up. Everyone's gonna yeah, go see Christmas their family is... for Christmas. Dude, that's it. They're talking about having smaller gatherings. Nobody wants to hear it. Did you see the clip I put in? Uh, sorry, wait, wait, sorry, wait, wait. Let's watch this first. Let's watch this first. Yeah. This evening, because I'm afraid we're now facing an emergency in our battle with the new variant, Omicron. And we must urgently reinforce our wall of vaccine protection to keep our friends and loved ones safe. Earlier today, the UK's four chief medical officers raised the COVID alert level to four its second highest level because of the evidence that Omicron is doubling here in the UK every two to three days. And we know, by the way, that's nuts. That's nuts, dude. That yeah, doubling go, go. time, dude, they Omicron flare. is like the Olympian version of COVID. Like it's like, it's worked yeah, out. Yeah. It got buff. It took some steroids, apparently it's inside of efficient. an HIV a, a, a patient. I don't get that. I don't really... I just don't understand enough, but it just seems weird that that explanation. I'm like, what? Did you hear? Did you hear the explanation? Like, like basically, it just like stayed in an HIV patient and basically got like roided out while it was there. It just like figured out how to dodge everything and then it spread away. Sounds like some racist ass. Blame it on Africa shit. (laughs) Sounds like bullshit to me. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. But imagine just some some made up theory. It's like it came from Africa, uh, 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 from AIDS in Africa. Uh, It's like, hey. Can you just stop? But even the way they blame, I feel like they blame wow. South Africa too much on that. They that is that is a little weird. It's like it's like oh, what's we'll just blame it on? It's um, they, that guy can't defend himself. They no, but they 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 just found the virus. They didn't necessarily make it. Everyone's acting like they made it and they're the epicenter and blocking flights from there is going to be so effective. And I feel like there was a lot of backlash on that. That like this whole like cut off all flights from Africa was a little too quick and doesn't really make sense. Hey, can, should we get Tom Nash in here? Tom, do you want to get in Nash. the show? Tell us the numbers, bear market. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, get, let's get him in the show, but let, let me let, it, let us finish this. Get in the show in like 15 yeah. minutes or so. Bring on I got to say, Boris Johnson has some... Se- it like, should be the same link that I've sent you dumb. before, Tom, just just so you know. Uh, all right, what were you saying? I'm inside bear market. Uh, this, this Boris Johnson, it, he, people say his hair looks dumb, but I think it looks like that pretty sexy like British look. Like he's doing it messy on purpose. Like he spends two hours it's on his It's part of his hair. style. It's part of his style. It's like part of the style. He's yeah. making it out like he woke up or he's just a goofball. No, he's like he's like high fashion. It does make it look like he cares too. Like if if like right now if they're in a tidal wave, it looks like he's in a tidal wave. He right. might have he might have surfed it, but he's in tight. He's there with you fighting. He's not yeah. avoiding the problems. Yeah, yeah. That hair says yeah. I've seen stuff with you guys. I'm in the streets. You, yeah, you know what he was doing? He was he was like he was like a a, a, a violent weather reporter before, and he's like this Boris Johnson. Yes, they're in the eye of the storm. It's a, and then the hair just is like he's like this is Boris like in the eye Johnson, and this the is eye. a real whipper. <laughs> oh, it's a right whipper. Careful now. All right, oh, let's <laughs> from bitter experience how these exponential curves develop. No one should be in any doubt. There is a tidal wave of Omicron coming. That's from his And I'm afraid days. it is now clear that two doses of vaccine are simply not enough to give the level of protection we all need. This is but terrorism. The good news is that our scientists are confident that with a third dose, a, a booster dose, we can all bring our level of protection back up. I know there will be some people watching who will be asking whether Omicron is less severe than previous variants and whether we really need to go out and get that booster. And the answer is yes, we do. Do not make the mistake of thinking Omicron can't hurt you, can't make you and your loved ones seriously. You know what's funny? Wasn't Boris Johnson rock and roll before he got COVID and then he's like, 
Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a <laughs> little puss boy. Uh, just kind of like just a little bit weak on it now. Now he's like, look, don't be afraid. It, it will hurt you because he got he thought he was going to be the rock and roll king and he got yeah. flattened by yeah. COVID. So now this is him being like, hey, guys, I've made the mistake before. Don't make it like me. That's you the don't want to go Trump into got an easy peasy COVID. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember Trump's COVID? It was easy peasy. He was out in the next day. He's waving, whatever. Easy yeah. peasy. So then he comes out like, eh, hey, whatever, vaccine, boo, I got it, but don't worry. He doesn't know. This guy has suffered. Yeah, so he, he has this suffered is the face the of someone who suffered for sure. Ill. Yeah, yeah. We've already seen hospitalizations doubling in a week in South Africa. And we have patients with Omicron in hospital here in the UK right now. At this point, our scientists cannot say that Omicron is less severe. And even if that proved to be true, we already know it is so much more transmissible that a wave of Omicron through a population that was not boosted would risk a level of hospitalization. Gotta get boosted. Overwhelm get boosted. NHS See how quick they're with the boost? Lead. Bro, I'm pro boost. Like, like I said, no, I'm because pro boost. Sense. Yeah, Fine, fair enough. Yeah, it just it just the science says that just get the boost. So it makes sense. It's weird how like how just logical, factual answer is like the easiest answer. Like like maybe they're saying get the booster shot because it's really important and it's good. But my brain does want to be like, oh, convenient. <laughs> Big Pharma. Who's getting rich? Big Pharma's getting rich. Got to get the third yeah, one. I mean, they're just the, so rea- just the reality of it is Big Pharma would have gotten rich no matter what. Like Big Pharma's going to get rich from the monoclonals. Big Pharma is going to get... So, like, I'm saying, like, even if you don't take it, you get sick. Bro, I think Big Pharma gets more rich off Joe Rogan and his buddies throwing the kitchen sink at it than, than they do off of you getting a vaccine. I mean, in your case, in that case, you don't pay for anything, the vax. But in the case of you buying all the, the kitchen sink, you are paying for all those drugs. So, it's like, actually, you pay right. less if you get it. So, anyways... But also you're causing the pandemic to stay longer, I guess. And that is something that we should say. Like, I mean, that that is another reason to get it. Like people are calling it that and people are saying this is oppression. They're calling it a pandemic of the unvaxxed. I guess it is. No, is it? right. Or, well, or with, with Omicron, it's a pandemic of everybody because it sounds like yeah. the hospitalizations sound like it's a <laughs> pandemic of the uh, unvaxxed, but the, the actual cases seems like it's a pandemic of everyone i just had a buddy just got vaxxed just got boosted sorry pfizer triple vaxxed he's suffering he with suffers the with the cron yeah yeah he had he got cron yeah it's but it's rough he lost his smell he lost every he's like how he's long like ago did he get cron this guy's cutting edge dude you got some cutting edge people god damn it you so know quick it, baby. He cron. yeah it's because america i thought america didn't even had it like two days ago your boy got it. No, it's been it's been a while now. Um, it's been but, a week or two. But yeah. yeah, no, he went somewhere with his buddies, and yeah, he got it. Didn't feel good. Lost smell. Was just like feeling waves of fatigue and stuff. And oh my god, yeah. I honestly thought in my head, I just thought like I can't get it. I've be, I've built like this psychological shield. Of, I'm like I just can't get it. I'm not gonna get it. I'm I I got the vaccine vaccines. I did it for the community. In my mind, I just have this Joe Rogan type of mentality that like, no, my health is too strong. I'm doing squats. I'm eating health, fresh food every day. I'm eating ginger. Me and my, my mom's even like, we have this ginger water, so we cannot get COVID. No. And we do this prayer. We cannot get COVID. God is great. So we, it's almost like I'm, I got, we got the vaccine for us. No, for the community. Because they are too scared. Because if the Vatels don't get the vaccine, nobody's going to get the vaccine. <laughs> No, no, we got it. We got it, for the, do culture, it for, the for the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fine. yeah right, we got right, it for right. the community. It's fine. But we wow. did feel like in our hearts that like we can't get hit. But then this new round makes it seem like you never know, I guess. Oh, it's getting everybody. It's getting everybody. But they're, Dude, saying, that's right, my... they're saying it's less like it doesn't like like kill you or whatever. I don't know. They are saying that. That that I am seeing consistently. So God is great on that. And uh, make sure you come to Loving Kindness Meditation. If you have any kind of feelings about vac, vax hesitancy, pro, anti, this is a meditation that I think will just bring the whole culture together. That just says, I just find it. Fa- I just best. find it fascinating, fascinating, because yeah. either Omicron's the best thing that happens to us or the worst thing. Do you realize that? Best it's thing, really nobody dies, but it gets everyone's shit together because it right. comes in so it rips so hard. The, it would be a good thing if it just kind of caught everybody. It's a cold. <clears throat> you catch it. You get immune. Whatever. Broad immunity. A couple of people it's, get the nose. It's, it's God's no vax sound. for everybody. 
you know, yeah. he, it's the mandatory booster uh, yeah. that, you know, and no one's going to complain about it because you just get it. You so get it. there's that. Or if it's bad, it spreads so much faster than regular COVID that it could be very like, you know. I mean, it can't kill. It's not killing, though. Severe symptoms, you're saying, fine. That's uh, That sucks. Severe symptoms with three vaccines. Well, no, with, with all these, like, people die at, like, day 14 and day 20 and day, like, 23. and On Omicron? No, no, with with all the previous COVID. So this hasn't right. been around that long. So if you're going to see uh, deaths, it's going to lag. Oh, my God. Steven, that's, like, the saddest thing I've heard. Yeah. That's, like, the saddest thing I've heard. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like well, nobody's dying. Wait. Yeah. The tally has not come. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's true. God makes the tally. In, imagine if in Omicron, you die in three weeks. God <laughs> makes the tally. It's, it's, you know what it is? Last, it's basically terrorism. Yeah, you've been explain this again to the community. You've explained it a few times, but I think it is a great analogy. I'll tell you why this is terrorism, because the whole the whole premise of terrorism is that it relies on scaring the public and messing you up on these internal like it. It, 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 it basically destroys your culture from the inside with terror. That's what terrorism is supposed to do. It's supposed to be like a random bomb strike in some part of your capital and it says i did it for all these people so then it just wreaks havoc in your society and it makes people like on edge scared scared like it kills the economy a little bit it kills the culture a little bit people don't want to go out people are worried about whatever so with this it's almost like if you do a direct war like sars sars to me was like land warfare which is like one to one it hits everybody it hits everyone bing bang we, Wipes everyone we're, out. we're way stronger than it because it's nothing. So we're mm -hmm. way strong. We just said, you're nothing. We destroyed it in two weeks. I don't know, like six months, eight months. One concert did it with that weak-ass SARS, that first one. But then this one, hello, gain of function, fucking Fauci fuck over there. Sorry, I don't want to make any allegations here. Allegedly, allegedly. But they did a booster on, on the old one. And then the new ones, they're operating, instead of operating with direct warfare, they're operating with terrorism tactics. They're all operating as these like sleeper cells. So the COVID spreads around, half the people don't even know they have it. So it's it, like, like it, it just terrorizes your community in the sense that like 80% of people don't, ha don't get it or something, 60% right. of people or like don't get asymptomatic it. asymptomatic or whatever. A asymptomatic, sorry, yeah, asymptomatic is the correct way, but they do carry it to other people. Um, so they're asymptomatic and they carry it. That's like, <clears throat> that's a sleeper cell. That's a sleeper terrorist cell, right. basically. <laughs> Gonna rip you off, take you down